Welcome back to Fraser Focus. Now, like many new Canadians, I haven't the foggiest idea about the sport of curling. However, clubs across the Lower Mainland are reporting an annual increase of 30%. I'm here to find out why. Curling is a sport that everybody can play. And I think that's the most entertaining thing about it. You know, because you, you get out with people that, of your own age group, and you, uh, you have a good social time, you really enjoy what's going on, and, and it's easy. Curling started in Scotland about a hundred and some odd years ago. Ended up in the prairies because it's so cold there that uh, water freezes quite well. So they started it there and it's moved all around the country since. Everybody think it's an old person sport? No, it's not. Um, it is athletic. You watch those pros on TV and you know that uh, they're in very good shape, both the men and the women. Started, slide that right behind you. Their Uncle Ken is a world-class curler. Their cousin is a world-class curler. They love watching their uncle and their cousin on TV, so they've been all over the world curling. I think they're exposed to it more and seeing younger curlers on TV a lot more, so it, it makes it a lot of fun for them too. So how does that rate that shot right there? Actually, that's a good shot. That is a good shot. What is the purpose here? What are we doing? Those are called rocks, are they not? Yeah, it's granite. Oh, and do they all weigh the same? Is it like Yeah, a... they're, I think they're 35 pounds. I'm not really the expert on it, but I think try to get your rock at the closest to the pin, to the middle, and the ones that have the most rocks closest to the pin get the points for each end. There could be seven yellow rocks in this house right now. And my one red one could be in the middle and it would count against all the seven, closest to the pin. What she was trying to do was take that red rock out and it just was... Didn't happen. Didn't happen. <laughs> I've had multiple individuals try and explain it to me and I really still don't know what's going on. Right, well, first order of business, booties. You should fit. I need two of them. <laughs> How does it work? So foot, right foot here. Okay. Sorry, yeah, right foot. Yeah, I'm right-handed. All right. Yeah, so that's what I balance with. Okay, and then and then you just push. And <laughs> just go for it. Here we go. As my first official rock. There are some skills to it. There's no question about it. You are on ice, so it's slippery. So there's things you have to do. You have to take care of it. And uh, But once you get the hang of it, then it's not that difficult to sport. Sometimes you get the occasional accident where someone might fall backwards or, you know, some of the curlers wear bands, you know, for protection on the back of their heads. Well, it's a special built cap with a pad in the back because most people fall backwards on it. Um, and how long have you been wearing that? How long has that been around? Two years. Two years. Because I had a stroke about 20 years ago, and so I don't have good balance. So that's why I wear it. I had uh, AV node problems, and I passed out on the ice three times. Split my head open. That's why I'm wearing one. And the other thing, now that I've got a pacemaker, I can curl twice as well. Are you, you guys not wearing helmets, though? You, did you have to wear helmets? Not really? No. No? Have you ever fallen and hit your head? Um, Mackenzie has one. How long ago was this? About a year. And you fell over and hit your head? Yeah. It hurt? Yeah. It's, it is on ice. It is dangerous. I myself happened to fall just this week and kind of got a little bit bruised. And so I'm going out tonight and buying myself a helmet. The Curling Association of Canada is calling for new regulations making it mandatory for players to wear helmets. You're watching Fraser Focus. We'll have more local stories when we come back.